So as the world says thank you to Sochi for hosting a wonderful Winter Olympics, it's also saying good luck or what we say here in Korea, fighting yeah. to the next host, the Korean resort town of Pyeongchang. Yes, and our Connie Kim has the rundown on the town that has wanted the Olympics so badly for so many years. Sports fans' eyes were focused on the four genius musicians, including world-famous soprano Jo Sumi, as they belted out an Arirang medley at the closing ceremony in Sochi. Their performance celebrating the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics whet the appetite of sports fans all over Korea. Some 200 Korean observers have been busily running around Sochi, taking notes on the venues, security and transportation to get a first-hand look at how the Olympics look and feel when they're in full swing. In 2018, it will have been 30 years since Korea hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul. Korea also becomes just the second Asian country after Japan to host the Winter Olympics. Pyeongchang is located roughly 200 kilometers from the capital Seoul, but with bullet train lines in place, fans and athletes will be able to get to and from Pyeongchang and Seoul in under an hour. The games will be held in three locations. Skiing sports and bobsleigh will be held in Pyeongchang and Cheongsan, with skating sports taking place in Cheongning. About 100 medals will be given out to athletes competing in 15 sporting events. Although Korea expects to invest just one-fifth of what Russia poured into the Sochi Olympics, the nation expects to invite athletes from a record amount of countries in four years' time. In a bid to create what they're calling New Horizons in Pyeongchang, Korea's organizing committee has expressed hope North Korea will send some athletes and officials to the Games. With plans to complete construction of the venues by 2016, the organizing committee has started getting ready to welcome athletes and sports fans in the best possible way by being ready well ahead of time. Connie Kim, Arirang News.